hi guys in today's video you are going to learn how currency pairs work in forex trading especially if you are new to forex and struggling with interpreting currency pairs you will discover how to read a forex currency pair and understand exchange rates this lesson is crucial for your training success if you are still finding this concept challenging or unclear we will address that in today's session let's begin but before i do click that like button for me click the subscribe button below the video to the right hand side if you are interested in learning how to trade forex we come out with free content all the time here on our youtube channel follow us over on instagram at ad forest academy so let's get right to the video let's delve into everything you need to know about currency pairs a currency pair is a price quote of the exchange rate for two different currencies traded in the forest market here is a list of some popular currencies and their abbreviations the abbreviation EURO stands for Euro, which is the official currency of many European countries. The abbreviation USD represents United States dollars, the currency used in the United States. GBP is the abbreviation for Great British Pounds, the currency of the United Kingdom. The abbreviation CHF stands for Swiss francs, the currency of Switzerland. If you look at these currencies listed here, you will discover that they are listed in pairs. Among those pairs of currency, the first currency within the pair is called the base currency. Why the second pair within the pair is called the quote currency? Let's note this down. An important thing to note here is that the base currency is stronger than the quote currency. With few exceptions, we will see why soon. For this part to be more interactive, make sure you download the MT4 app if you don't have it already because you are going to be needing it. After downloading it, open your MT4 app. If your MT4 is showing an interface telling you MQL5 registration, don't bother about that. It has already opened the demo account for you. Now, click on that double arrow icon below from any screen that is displaying. It will automatically take you to the currency pairs page. We will all need to open our MT4 app. We are getting into more serious business right now. I believe that everyone has successfully opened their demo account and has located the currency pair page. For those who have opened their MT4, you will see where currency pairs are listed. Even if it's in a different format, don't worry. The most important thing for now is that you are seeing here currency pairs. We will address the formats later. Let's take GBPUSD as an example. The first currency pair right here is GBPUSD. GBP is strong than the US dollars. I believe we all know that. Hence, GBP is the base, while USD is the quote. Another example is Euro JPY. The fourth pair in this image is the second example. Euro is the base, while JPY is the quote because the Euro is stronger than the Japanese yen. Also, beside each of those pairs, you will see some set of numbers written by the side. Just focus on the first number for now. For example, in this GBP USD above, it's showing you GBP USD 1.3525. The number is telling you how many units of the quote currency you will need to get one unit of the base currency. In this case, to get one GBP, you need 1.3525 USD. For now, ignore the super script. Let's note the above statement down. I will explain in details. Now, let me use a local example to illustrate this. If you have a currency pair between USD and Naira, it will be written as USD Ninja. Let's use 510 as the exchange rate. This first telling you that USD is stronger than the Naira. Hence, USD is the base and Naira the quote. Then, the next important thing is telling you is how many quote currencies do you need to get one unit of the base currency. So in this case, you will need 510 Naira to be able to get one US dollar. I know 510 Naira is neither the official rate nor the parallel market rate. It's just an example. Like I told you guys that the base is stronger than the quote. For some pairs, the stronger currencies are written as the second pair. We said that the base currency is most times stronger than the quote currency, with few exceptions. We also talked about what those numbers besides the currency pairs represent. For example, in this GBP USD above, it's showing you GBP USD 
1.3525. The number is telling you how many units of the quote currency you will need to get one unit of the base currency. In this case, to get one GBP, you need 1.3525 USD. Like I told you guys that the base is stronger than the quote. However, there are occasions in which the stronger currencies are written as the second pair. Examples include USD CHF. CHF is stronger than USD. Euro GBP. GBP is stronger than Euro. AUD USD. USD is stronger than AUD. You always know them because they start with zero point. Something written beside them. Don't bother yourself with why the weaker currency is placed first. It doesn't affect your trade. However, the price you see besides a currency is the amount of the quote currency you need to get one unit of the base currency. Notice how they all start with zero point. Like I just said, don't bother yourself. However, apart from those few exceptions, generally in forex, the base is always stronger than the quote. Let's go further to a very important question. When do you buy and when do you sell? This is a very important question. Earlier, when I said in my last video about uh, technical versus fundamental analysis that in forex, we make money irrespective of the direction of the market. Some were confused. If you have not watched that video, go check it out. I will drop a link at the top of your screen after watching this video. You can go and watch it. Please, take note of this. You buy when you know that the market will go up and you sell when you know that the market will go down this is all we do in forest it's this simple nothing is difficult in forest you don't have to be an economist many who are not as educated as you trade forest and are profitable let's use an example to drive home this point before 2015 an average of 200 naira was equivalent to a dollar exchange rate was 200 naira per one dollar record that 2015 was an election year so you anticipated that with the political uncertainties that comes with election the naira will fall so you decided to buy dollar you add one million naira in the bank at 200 naira per dollar one million is five thousand dollar after the election early in 2016 you will recall that the naira fell to about 450 per one dollar at the new exchange rate in 2016 five thousand dollar is 2.25 million naira meaning that you just made 1.25 million within a few months without doing anything this is basically what we do in forest in this example a currency was bought Remember that we talked about forms of trading in my last video, which I just talked about fundamental versus technical analysis. In this example, why did you know that the error will fall? Technical or fundamental analysis? Please, I need answers to this question in the comment section. Let's proceed. That we profit both ways is the reason why forex trading is not limited to only when the currency is gaining strength. If the currency is gaining strength, you buy to profit. If it's losing value, you sell to profit. Take your time to study and understand currency pairs. Now, that was an overview of what currency pairs are. In case you were struggling with this concept, unsure, or if you are a new trader entering the forex market and you found this lesson beneficial, I hope it has provided value to you. Join me in the next lesson where we delve into understanding what a PIP is and how to calculate PIPs. This will be the focus of our upcoming video and I'm excited to have you join us. Once again, take care and see you in the next lesson. Thank you.